I'm Jia Chen from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and I'm here to introduce our new paper, Fuzi, a fully memory disaggregated KV store. And this is a joint work from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Huawei Cloud, Fudan University, and the Song Yasan University. There are many famous in-memory KV stores like Redis and Memcached, and they are becoming the fundamental building blocks for many cloud services like databases, file systems, and serverless platforms. Existing in-memory KV stores are built on monolithic servers, where clients send network requests to the storage server, and they rely on the server CPU to execute the KV operations to access or modify the KV pairs. However, due to the adoption of monolithic servers, the CPU and memory resources are coupled on a single machine, and hence, existing in-memory KV stores suffer from the resource inefficiency and elasticity issue inherited from the monolithic server architecture. So the disaggregated memory architecture is proposed to attack this issue. It decouples the CPU and memory resources from a single machine into two independent resource pools. The compute pool holds a large amount of CPU cores and a small amount of DRAM to serve as runtime cache. The memory pool holds a large amount of DRAM and a small number of CPU cores to do some management tasks like network connection established and to manage memory. Since the memory and the compute resources are decoupled, the resources on DM can be allocated arbitrarily, and hence, applications on DM can be more elastic and resource efficient. However, building KV stores on DM is difficult because the compute power on the memory nodes are too weak to conduct uh, the data and the metadata management. So existing approach propose a semi-disaggregated design to attack this issue. They store KV pairs on the memory node, but retain the metadata management on a monolithic servers. So to execute search operations, clients first use RPC requests to find the address of the KV pair, and then use a one-sided RDMA read to fetch the data from the memory node. To execute update, insert, and search operations, clients first use RPCs to allocate the memory block from the metadata server, and then use a one-sided RDMA write to write the data to the memory node, and finally, use RPC to update the index stored on the metadata server. However, such a semi-disaggregated design still cannot fully exploit the hardware benefits of the DM architecture because the metadata management still relies on monolithic servers, and many resources still have to be allocated to this metadata server. And in our experiments, we find that at least six additional CPU cores and one additional RDMA network interface card have to be assigned to the metadata server until it is no longer the performance bottleneck. So it is natural for us to ask a question. Is it possible to build a KV store that let clients directly manage this metadata? So in this paper, we explore such possibility by proposing such a fully memory disaggregated KV store. But however, three challenges have to be attacked to achieve such a fully memory disaggregated architecture due to the weak computer power on the memory nodes and the complex failure situations on DM. The first challenge is the client-centric index replication. The index have to be replicated on multiple memory nodes to survive from memory node failures. Strong consistency is the most widely adopted correctness standard for replication. However, existing replication approaches are designed for monolithic servers. They assume that each data replica is exclusively managed by the CPU of a storage server, and they heavily rely on the CPU to execute replication protocols. However, such an approach is infeasible on DM because the compute power on memory nodes are too weak to execute this replication protocol on data paths. The second challenge is the remote memory allocation. The major problem is well to execute this memory management computation. There are two possible approaches on the fully disaggregated setting, the client-centric approach and the server-centric approach. The client-centric approach stores the memory management metadata on memory node and let clients to use one-sided RDMA verbs to modify them to allocate memory spaces. However, since the memory management metadata are shared by all clients, clients' accesses have to be synchronized. So such an approach suffers from the high synchronization overhead on DM. The server-centric approach used the weak compute power on the memory node to manage this metadata. And such an approach is also infeasible because the 
compute power on memory nodes are too weak and will be easily overwhelmed by clients' allocation requests. So neither clients nor memory nodes can efficiently allocate remote memory. And finally, the last challenge is the metadata corruption. Since compute nodes in the compute pool are unstable, clients may crash at any time. And in existing semi-disaggregated KB stores, the metadata are managed by the CPU of the metadata server. So in this case, when a client crashes when executing KB operations, the CPU of the metadata server can still execute these update operations. Hence, the metadata are not affected by the client failures. However, in the fully disaggregated setting, clients directly access and modify this um, memory node metadata. So when a client crashes in this situation, the metadata can be corrupted because the crashed client may be partially modified it. And even worse, other clients can still access this corrupted metadata with one-sided RDMA verbs, and this will compromise the correctness of the entire system. So to summarize, three challenges have to be attacked to achieve a fully memory disaggregated KB store, which are the client-centric index replication, the remote memory allocation, and metadata corruption. We propose FUZ, a fully memory disaggregated KB store, to attack all these three challenges. FUZ consists of clients, memory nodes, and an additional master. The client executes KB operations in the memory pool with one-sided RDMA verbs. The memory node stores and replicates the hash index, the memory management metadata, and KB pairs. And finally, the master is an additional cluster management process responsible only for initializing the whole cluster and recovering data on failures. A client-centric index replication protocol named the snapshot is proposed to efficiently replicate hash index among multiple memory nodes. A two-level memory management scheme is proposed to address the challenge of remote memory allocation. And finally, FUSI uses an embedded operation log scheme to recover the corrupted metadata on client failures. For the hash index, FUSI used race hashing, a one-sided RDMA-friendly hash index structure proposed in previous work. It contains multiple A byte slots, which each contains a pointer pointing to the location of the KB pair, the length of the KB pair, and a fingerprint that accelerates search operations. And it uses an out-of-place modification scheme for KB updates. Whenever a new data is need to be updated, the new KB pair is first written to a new location, and the slot is atomically modified to point to the new location. And FUSI adopts the snapshot replication protocol to replicate race hashing among multiple memory nodes. As shown in this left figure, multiple clients may simultaneously read or write the same replicated hash slot in the fully disaggregated setting. So two problems need to be addressed to achieve strong consistency. First, how to protect readers from reading incomplete values caused by concurrent writes? And second, how to efficiently resolve write-write conflicts among clients? First, to protect readers from reading incomplete values, FUSI separates the replicated hash index into a single primary and multiple backups, and it uses the backup replicas to resolve the write conflicts, and the primary replica is only modified after the conflicts are resolved. So in this way, the primary replica always contains the correct value, and clients can directly use one-sided RDMA reads to fetch the value in the hash index. And then, to efficiently resolve write-write conflicts among clients, FUSI first leverages the out-of-place KV modification character of race hashing, where conflicting clients always write different values because these values are pointers pointing to different locations. And then it uses a last writer wins conflict resolution scheme that defines simple rules on the client side to collaboratively decide a last writer. Here is the write process. First, clients use RDMA reads to fetch the value in the primary slot. And then, all clients modifies all the backup slot by broadcasting RDMA compare and swap operations with the value in the primary slot as the expected value and the value they propose to modify as the swap value. And on receiving this compare and swap, the RNIC on the backup slot will compare the value in the slot with the expected value in the request and modify the slot only if these two values match. And since all the slot initially contains the value in the primary slot, and all the clients modifies to different value, each slot can only be modified once, and the value will be fixed afterwards. And meanwhile, clients will receive a return value from the CAS operation, 
which is the value before the slots are modified. And the clients can use the return value to perceive the values in the backup slots by simply re replacing the original value to their proposed value as shown in this step three. Then Fusi defines three simple conflict resolution rules on clients to decide the last writer. A client is the last writer if it has modified all the slots, or it has modified a majority of backup slots, or it writes the smallest value when there is no majority. So in this case, client one is the last writer according to rule two. And then the last writer will modify all the slots, and other writers will return after perceiving the value change. And with this client-centric index replication protocol, we have bounded the number of RTTs for doing index read and write operations. For read operations, one RTT is required. And for write operations, three to five RTTs are required, and three RTTs for most cases. And Fusi adopts a two-level memory management scheme to efficiently allocate remote memory on DM. The key idea is to separate the memory management logic into compute light and compute heavy tasks. And under this idea, Fusi used the weak compute power on the memory nodes to execute the compute light coarse grain memory block allocation and let clients to deal with the fine grain KV pair allocation. So specifically, on the memory node, we partition the memory space into two gigabyte memory regions and further partitions the memory region into 16 megabyte memory blocks. And whenever an alloc request comes, the memory node will select a free block and return the block address to the client. On the client side, we use a slab allocator to manage these allocated memory blocks. The slab allocator will partition the memory block into small fixed size objects. And a KV pair is always allocated from the smallest size class that can fit this KV pair. And finally, Fusi used logs to recover the corrupted metadata on client failures. And the key challenge of implementing logs on DM is that an additional RTT is required to create a log entry before each operation starts. So Fusi embeds this log entry into KV pairs to eliminate this additional RTT. And here is the structure of the object where a log entry is appended to each KV pair and the log entry contains all the information required to recover this op operation. However, by embedding log entries into KV pairs, we do not know the order of KV operations and we cannot find which operation crashes. So to address this issue, we find that all operations that modifies the metadata requires allocating a memory block. So we use the memory allocation order to construct this operation order. And to achieve this, we recall two pointers in the log entry and use these two pointers to construct a doubly linked list for each size class of a client. And since the object allocation order are predetermined on the client side, both pointer values are known when the object is allocated, and the entire object together with the log entry can be written to the memory node with a single RDMA write. No additional RTT is required. And due to the time limit, please refer to our paper for more details. And finally, we'll evaluate FUZ with both YCSB hybrid benchmark and uh, micro benchmarks. We use APT cluster of uh, Cloud Lab to conduct all our experiments, and we use 17 machines to construct our compute pool and uh, five machines to construct our memory pool. And we compare it with Clover and PDPM Direct to state-of-the-art KV stores on DM and Fusi NC and Fusi CR to state of the uh, to baseline approach without local cache and with chain replication to replicate the harsh index. So these two figures shows the YCSBA write intensive workload and YCSBC read intensive workload of Fusi, Clover, and PDPM Direct. And as shown in this figure, Fusi achieves the best scalability as the number of clients grows, and it achieves up to 4.9 times higher throughput than Clover, even though Clover uses an additional monolithic server to do its metadata management. And these two figures shows the medium replication latency of Fusi, Fusi NC, and Fusi CR. Fusi has the lowest latency because the replication protocol have bounded number of RTTs, while chain replication is to modify the hash index slot one by one. So to conclusion, existing memory disaggregated KV stores adopt a semi-disaggregated design, and hence they cannot fully exploit the hardware benefits of the DM architecture. And we propose Fusi, a fully memory disaggregated KV store with a client-centric index replication protocol a two-level memory management scheme, and an embedded operation log scheme. 
And our experiments show that FUSI achieves up to 4.9 times in YCSB hybrid benchmarks with less resource com consumption compared with existing approaches. Thank you, and questions are welcome. Mm -hmm.